Hey guys, my name is Abhay Kumar and this is AY. The universe is weird. It's so unfathomably big that we can't even appreciate it to its maximum glory. For putting things into perspective, we live here on earth which seems already too big for our imagination, which is revolving around a medium-sized star which is about 109 times the circumference of earth. The biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, can fit around 1300 earths. And the sun can fit around a thousand Jupiters. So about a million earths can fit inside the sun. And the sun is just another star in the Milky Way galaxy, which isn't even the biggest of its kind. In fact, there are more than 200 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone. And we know that the Milky Way might be one of one trillion galaxies in the universe. You may or may not know this information already, but it doesn't really matter because the human brain can't really comprehend all these numbers. So they just become a quantity to us. Still, this is a more modern picture of the universe which did not come into existence until the early 20th century. Before that, astronomers believed that all the stars and celestial objects are a part of a single spiral galaxy called the Milky Way. In fact, the word galaxy comes from a Greek word galaxies, which literally meant Milky. But in 1924, an astronomer demonstrated that ours is not the only galaxy. Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer, after whom the Hubble Space Telescope is named, in 1924 proposed that our galaxy is not the only galaxy in the universe, and there are more of them further far away from ours with a lot of empty space between them. And with his experiments, he even found nine other galaxies and their distance from us. But frankly, I don't like to just dwell on what someone accomplished. Matter of fact, with a lot of information out there, people just tend to care about what someone did instead of on how they did it. So obviously we need to talk about how Hubble found other galaxies. In the night sky, we usually see a lot of stars but also observe that they don't stay in one place every night. Well, this is because of our motion around the sun. As we keep moving, we see their position differ. But if you observe the night sky carefully, you will see that some stars tend to move way more than the others. This is because the distance of individual stars from us. The star which is nearer to us will move a lot more than a star at a large distance from us. This is due to something called parallax. You can feel parallax in your everyday life, like when you are in a moving car. You can see nearby objects buzz past you, but objects further away move slowly. The same can be applied to nearby stars if you take the Earth as a moving car. This is helpful in finding the distance of different stars from us. Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to us, which is about 4 light years away. But some stars really seem fixed to us, no matter the time of the year. This is because these stars are so far away from us that our motion around the sun doesn't really affect the position of such stars. Or celestial bodies. Edwin Hubble wanted to calculate the distance to such stars in order to prove that other galaxies like Milky Way also exist. In order to find the distance to such faraway stars, we need to find their brightness, as the distance inversely affects the brightness of such stars to us. The brightness of a star is also directly affected by its luminosity or the amount of light it radiates. With the brightness and the luminosity, we can find the distance to these stars. Hubble calculated distance to nine different galaxies and hence proposed that Milky Way is not all that the universe offers. 
Today, with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope, we can capture thousands of other galaxies. In fact, in this photo, all these objects you see that look like stars are about 10,000 galaxies. And this photo was taken by focusing the Hubble telescope at a completely dark part of space that was about the width of a straw. So you can see what Edwin Hubble was trying to scratch the surface of. With later research with galaxies, he also found that they were moving away from us. But that's for another video. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Also like and share it with your friends. I try to make such videos every week. So until then, stay curious and keep questioning. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.